ahead and get started. Uh, hey, welcome everybody. Thanks for being here. Just so those that don't know, my name is Rick, Rick Sadler. I'm the founder and president of Hit and Run Candlesticks. And I'm here today with Mr. Jeff Gibby representing Metastock. Uh, that's me over here on the left, and that's Jeff. That's really what I look like. And I know Jeff personally, and that is really what Jeff looks like right there. So uh, we're going to show you some things tonight that I think are very, very, very exciting. Um, I am, well, you'll see. I'm, I'm, it's kind of cool and very excited because, uh, you know, scanning, trying to automate scanning is, uh, well, it's a crazy maker. Well, scanning is a crazy maker. Automation takes the crazy out of it. So let's, uh, let's get to it and... We'll try to get this done inside an hour. And I welcome questions, by the way. So please don't anyone be bashful. If you have questions, please feel free to uh, ask them as we go. I don't mind interruptions. Don't mind going back at all. I'm here to help you. Jeff's here to help you and answer any questions you may have. So I'm going to adjust my desk a little bit. There we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, gravity's winning for me, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, everyone. Again, I want to welcome everybody to the Rick and Jeff Show. Uh, I'm Rick Sadler with Hit and Run Candlesticks and Jeff Gibby with Metastock. So what I'm going to do is look at some chart patterns tonight, and you're going to see how they're automated. And I'm going to show you some really, really cool things uh, you'll see here. First, let's get this this pesky legal disclaimer out of the way, okay? Uh, no communication in this webinar is, is intended as and should not be relied upon as financial advice. Nothing presented here should be taken as counsel to buy, sell, or hold any financial instruments. Now, I'm not going to read that whole thing to you. I'll give you just a second here if you feel the need to read, but it's your basic uh, this is for educational purposes only. Alrighty. My favorite chart patterns made easy. How would you like to be notified when, when a chart does this right here? When it alerts you in places like this as areas that you might consider um, buy areas. How would you like to be in a chart that trended like that. We're going to look at some charts that could have kept you in because of the signals that uh, you're going to see here uh, that might have kept kept you in that entire length or I mean if it stopped you out then maybe they would come back just like this did. It showed you multiple signals here. So right here is a signal, right here is a signal, here's a signal, here's a signal. And you can see after each one of those, there was a rally here like that, all right? And that's how we make money. Okay, now I mentioned Crazy make Maker, and can you imagine narrowing down a thousand charts, thousands of charts actually, thousands of charts that, that we have to go through before we find just you know the one or two charts that we want to trade well I'm here tonight to make it a little bit easy for you and uh, I'll, I'll show you what I mean I mean how many of us look like this you look through thousand charts just to find the, the one you're looking to trade you know you see everybody else making money everybody already you know by noon everybody is is posting hey I just made uh, 20 percent on this trade or 10 percent on that trade or 75% on that other trade and you're still trying to bang out looking for that hot stock well I'm hoping tonight that I can answer some of those questions and make it a little bit easier for you it's kind of a lag here for me uh, turning the charts I don't know why or turning the slides I just have uh, five slides I believe and then we're gonna look at charts so please bear with me okay um, the first thing about scanning that I want you to know that if, if anyone is having trouble with this, um, you, you need to stop having trouble with it. 
uh, seriously stop having trouble with it because it's nothing, uh, it's not something that requires all, all the fret over. It just doesn't require all the fret. Uh, you know, start with price. What price do you trade? Real simple. Maybe you trade a minimum of $5 and maybe a maximum of $5. Just simply set your scan up. This, not, this should not be something that takes a lot of time. This should be one and done. Set it and you're finished, okay? Uh, I, I can't begin to tell you how many times people, they're always uh, fussing and tweaking their charts and they're playing with price. You know, well, today I'm going to trade 50 cent stocks. And then next day they're going to trade. Well, I'm only going to trade stocks over $20 now. The reality is set it and be done because all that bouncing around is not going to do you any good. The next thing is if you only trade uh, stocks up to one or up to $50, then don't look at Apple. Don't don't put it, you know. Don't don't put it on your uh, in your scans. Don't don't set. Don't set your scan up to read stocks over $50 if you're not going to trade, trade stocks over $50. All that does is clutter everything. And it, it just it, it doubles or sometimes even triples or quadruples the amount of stocks that you need to look for. So this is a one and done. Set it and be done with it. No reason to go back and forth. If you want to know what Apple does or Amazon does or, you know, those stocks, well, keep a separate little little list over there maybe but I don't even know that you need that I mean you know how to type in Apple or Amazon uh, the next thing we want to look at is volume volume is a question that people ask me all the time you know what do you set your volume at look there's no magic about volume this is just an example this is not necessarily what mine is set at uh, although it's close I mean it's just you know 400,000 shares maybe an average over 60 days. There's no secret here. There's no magic. Some people want to trade stocks only that trade a million dollar or million shares. And that's fine too. Some people want to trade stocks that have 59, uh, 59 shares sold a day. Well, I don't really think that's a good idea, but some folks like to do that. Um, so this is one of those things. It's one and done. Set it and be done. Just no sense in making your, your, uh, you know, your daily routine uh, fuzzy or blurry because you're trying to set something up like this. This is job one right here. Get her done, and you're done. Now, what I want to do here, what I want to do here is I want to talk about um, your... Um, your scans and somebody could give you give me I you know give everyone you know the the secret scan the holy grail of scans and if you don't know what you want it won't do you any good it just will not do any good so it's important to know what you want and I share this or have shared this in the trading room and and other webinars like this because I think this is something we can kind of wrap our head around a little bit and let's start with renting a U-Haul truck okay and then what we're gonna do is we're renting a U-Haul truck because we decided to move all right wherever you live let's move let's pack everything up and let's move but now the question is what part of the country do you want to live in answer that question well, part of the country so you've got to know these things you've got to know uh, you want to live on the west coast east coast you know down toward Florida you want to live up near Canada where do you want to live what part of the country and then the next thing you have to ask yourself is what state do you want to live in what state do you want to live in choose a state so you have to know these things and trading is the same way you know, so many times people just get out there and they start trading and they don't have these answers and they wonder why they can't make money. But I'm going to show you how this can all work, but you still have to know what you're looking for, okay? You have to know what you want. 
What town do you want to live in? So you pick a state. You pick a state. What town do you want to live in now? Choose a town. Now, after you choose a town, if you have children, you might want to look for a particular school district. All right? So let's go look for a school district. Now, once, once all this gets done right here, once everything, once you, once you do this, then what happens, it just goes down through this funnel and boop, it pops out. It spits out some um, possibilities. You know, you've, you found the part of the country you want to live. You found the state you want to live. Uh, you chose a town. And in this town, there are three or four good school districts. So what you do is you make a list here. And you and your honey, you go driving down, looking at those school districts in those areas. You start looking for houses. Now, that's where we start looking for those charts, okay? So what we're going to do now is we have to know in those charts what we're looking for. For instance, um, you, you've, you've got to know how to read a chart. Again, somebody could, you, we can automate charting, you know, scans all day long. But if you don't have a certain amount of, of charting expertise, you know, you, we need to work on that a little bit. So it's important to develop an education program, um, and it's as important as uh, trading, making money, or, you know, checking out that, that next hot stock. These are just a few things that I think are important. Actually, these are probably the top things I think is important. You know, continuation patterns. I love continuation patterns. You're gonna, we're going to look at charts tonight that are pretty much nothing but continuation patterns. And you'll see what I mean on there. And continuation patterns, you know, we call things like J-hooks, flags, pennants, triangles. This is uh, short for pop-out-of-the-box uh, pattern. And uh, we want to look at price action, trends, trend lines, support and resistance, and uh, always have a trade plan when you go into a, a trade. We're not going to talk anything about a trade plan tonight. Um, but we might mention one of these or two of these or all of these a couple of times this evening as we look at those charts. But it's very, very important that you, you have that understanding. Uh, I call this uh, tr uh, um, uh, training your eyes. You know, be able to train your eyes to recognize this stuff. And that's, that's all there is to it. You know, there's really not too many here, and I think everyone can do this. So let's see, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve. You know, all we have to do is recognize these chart patterns. And then, of course, you just have to know how to trade them, which that is really, really simple. Most of the time, it's based on follow-through, price action follow-through. So once we get that down, and then we start looking at uh, some charts with some uh, scans uh, set up, setups, it'll start uh, kind of make sense on <clears throat> where you might want to enter the trade and how you might set up that trade plan. So let's go look at some charts here. <clears throat> now, one thing I want to let you know is that um, I, there's a chart going to be coming up that I'm going to show you that I think is about the coolest thing since sliced bread. Uh, and it's because of these chart patterns. And uh, that, 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 that slide will come up, and, and like I say, I'll, I'll definitely show, show it to you. And uh, you'll, you'll see there what I'm talking about. So here's GLW, and this is what we call a T-line bounce. You'll see it on the chart here. See that TLB right there? And you see how these candlesticks are green? Well, what that's doing is that's alerting the the chart pattern, uh, the setup that we've developed uh, as a team uh, with Jeff and Metastock and myself, we've developed this uh, to show where we might look for entries or where the where the stock is setting up here. So the stock pops up, you know, as you filter through your charts, and a little bit later on, uh, I'm, I'll be finishers in a bit, and then Jeff is going to come on and he's going to talk more about it. Um, on how you might find this on a chart and how you might set it up. But what we're looking for are charts that pop up, well, are trending basically. 
And then what happens is that that chart pattern starts to develop, that, that, uh, re that, um, that reason. So what we're looking for is building conditions. Yes, Rose, yes, you will be receiving the recording, absolutely. Um, so what, what we're doing is we're building uh, conditions. I think there should be um, conditions before we have a reason. The reason is pushing the buy button. So we need to develop these conditions. And that's what we've done here with these scans. We've developed these, these conditions that, that puts the probabilities in our favor. And now remember, on a couple of those other slides, it is still so very important you understand how to trade a chart. And I, I, you know, I don't mean to be rude about it and, 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 you know, certainly trying to help, but I, a lot of people want to bypass that and they just want, well, just give me this holy grail right here. And I got to tell you that, that is, that is like a super major mistake. So make sure that you get the education and the, and, and, and the tools that go with it, you know, the books, the pencils, the, compasses and things like that to help you trade this chart so we can we can show you where it starts to work but from there you've got to know how to trade so some things that we might be looking for is as this thing starts to alert and it alerts every time it's in that area boom 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 and this is a t-line bounce bouncing off the t-line and you know i i'll come back to what the t-line is in just a second here so it starts to alert. Well, you see how it pops up right there? And then we have a little flag. Well, you have to understand what a flag is. You have to know what that chart pattern is. And when you know what that chart pattern is, you understand how that next candle, that breakout right there, that, that, that breakout right, right there, that might be the candle you want to you place an entry on. And then from there, follow the stock up. Now, somebody might be saying, well, it pulled back right here. You're right, it did. It did pull back. But one thing that it didn't do, if we bought it because of it broke out right here, it's holding support. So see, chart pattern, flag, support, that was on one of those slides. If we, put, if we know those things, we learn those things, then that's how we make money. Um. And 7% might not mean a lot, you know, to somebody. It might not mean a lot. By the way, all of the slides I'm showing you are very current, very recent, okay? Uh, just sharing that with you, all right? So I want to, I wanna, you know, 7% might not be uh, a lot of uh, percentage, but let me ask a little bit of uh, everybody if you could answer and uh, just say both if you do both. But how many people here trade just straight stock or trade options? You can just say both or, you know, type options or stocks, whatever you want to do. Stocks, both, okay. <clears throat> both, all right. Cool, options, okay, options. Stocks, options, all right, very cool. You know that I've, I've been trading for, I'm actually going on 31 years now, and uh, I've never traded an option in my life until actually very, very late November of last year. And I only trade a couple of them in December. I started trading quite a few uh, bit more uh, in January. That'll be important in just a few minutes, and you'll see why. Um, but 7%, that may not seem like big money for a stock trader. That's, you know, 7% swings pretty good. And who's to say that this stock can't, can't go on? I mean, nothing about this says it's stopping. So it might, you know, it might pull back and then just continue that trend. And if it did all that, it would probably give us more signals. And you'll see what I mean in a few other charts. So 7% could turn into 14% pretty easy. If you're a stock trader, you know that that number will rock higher. I mean, I'm sorry, an options trader. You know that will rock higher. So believe me, there's money to be made here. Again, I will show you. All right, one thing I didn't do that I think I need to, and I do apologize, I skipped right over it. I mentioned the word T-line. I want to share with everybody what the T-line is. It's that line right there. That is the eight exponential moving average, eight exponential moving average. This blue line right here 
That's the 50-day simple moving average, 50-day simple moving average. That red line right there, that's the 200-day simple, 200-day simple. This line right there, that red dotted line. Okay, that is, that is the 200, whoops, <laughs> 200, it's the front weighted, and it's measured uh, on the lows, yeah, on the lows. 200, it's just like this right here, it's the 200 period moving average, front weighted, measured on the lows. So instead of measuring the close of the candle, it's measuring the lows of the candle. And by the way, that comes loaded on our alerts here, by the way, for you. So let's go look at another slide here. Let's see what TCP has to offer. Now, TCP, TCP is, this is one of my all-time favorite chart patterns. I made more money on this uh, in the last few years than any chart pattern I've ever made money on, okay? This, this like is, I, I love this chart pattern. And I'm going to quickly give you a little, uh, I, I guess, his, le lesson on it, I suppose, not history. You don't want to know history on it. You want to know a lesson. So a couple of basic things we're looking for is we want the stock to be in a downtrend, all right? Big old downtrend. And that's just what we have here. You can see the 200. And in, in a few other slides, you'll see how the 50 is in a downtrend, and it'll actually show that downtrend off a little bit better. So we're in a downtrend, and I don't like buying stocks off the bottom. I have found that to be nothing but an expensive hobby, very expensive hobby. Uh, I've just never had good trading luck with it, and in all honesty, I've never met a real successful, real successful trader that that's their thing. That's their niche. Um, a lot of people play around with it, you know, trying to catch those bottoms, but I've never met a trader. And I've been around the country numerous of times, and I've talked to tons and tons of traders over the past 30 years. And I've never met anyone that actually trades for a living, you know, goes on vacations, and their their shtick is picking bot stocks off the bottom. Never have I run across anyway. So, and the bad thing is I was taught to do that. Didn't work out so well. So I had to come up with a way to solve that problem. The first thing I came up with is something we call a pinball setup. And you'll see a couple of those in here. The second thing I came up with was the rounded bottom breakout, which is simply a takeoff of the pinball setup. And it's trading after the stock pops up over the 50-day simple moving average. Now we want the 50 here and we want the 200 up here. So we always want the 200 above the 50. Once price gets above the 50 up here, it is no longer a rounded bottom breakout. It's a completely different trade, completely different trade. So what we want to do is we want it to break out over the 50, then we want it to test, uh, test, and then you can look for buy signals. The test is sort of, it, you don't have to have that test, but, you know, you don't want to get it way up here and then pay up here for it and then have it test. You'll just get get punished. You just will uh, in the very beginning. Um, but if it pops up and then consolidates, just, just I'm going to make that a little smaller. That's better. If it moves up and consolidates like that little doji right there, I would call that good consolidation. I mean, that's just, it's a nice inside day consolidation. And notice how it's alerting us. It's an RBB setup. That's RBB short for rounded bottom breakout. So we come in here and boom, we want to place our entry in there. And guess what? This stock does this and it does this and that's 33%. Now, this dotted line, remember that's the 200 front weighted measured on the lows. I got to tell you, that is the coolest thing that I ever ran across. It took 30 years to figure it out, which and it was strictly by accident. Believe me, it's not, it's not like I, any super calculation or anything. It was just dumb, stupid luck on my behalf. And, but when I did, it was like, whoa, check this out. Did a little back testing, and what do you know? 
man, this thing works out well. Stocks that go from the bottom like this up, I'll, I would I would bet every single time you will see it stop right here. Now, when I say right here, come on, give me a little break here, you know, in that area like that. All righty? I mean, you can see all this just right there. Same thing. And the same holds true. When it breaks out, it's likely to come back and test this area. So let's see, Fritz, your screen is not showing what you're talking. Uh, it's probably on your end, George, and uh, you might want to adjust the screen or something. Uh, that it, there, there's little sliders up there to adjust the screen. Okay. So <clears throat> we want to pull the profits off. I mean, 33%. How many people here would like to have 33%? Now, if you're a stock trader, believe me, you should be raising your hand. And if you're an options trader, well, can you imagine what that number would be? Yeah, me too, Calvin. Absolutely. So you take your money and you go to the bank. Yeah, me every day. <laughs> so you take your money, go to the bank. And you let this thing come back down until it sets up another chart pattern. Now, notice it says RBB all the way through that. That's because it's still an RBB. As long as it stays above that 50, it's an RBB. Doesn't mean it's a buy, though. What we want to do is wait for things to happen, like basing, like consolidation. And then we want to see that a little bit of a breakout. So if we were to buy, say, somewhere in this area right here, yeah, let's put another little, little different color here. You know, buy somewhere in that area right there. You're up. Now, you've already sold here once. So don't, you know, unless it fails, I wouldn't get too quick to sell that necessarily. So what happens is we move up, okay, it, it, it stopped there, but it pulls back, but notice it's holding support. We're still doing okay, and it just runs up. Now notice how price stays above the T-line? I call that a T-line run. So see how this thing just runs up? Boom, 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 boom. Well, if you would have sold it here, you're getting 14%. Now, like I said, these charts are relatively clean charts like they're you know right now so I'm looking at TCP well TCP still could move up to that 200 and that's 23 percent away from an entry you know somewhere in this area depending exactly where you enter it so there's still room in here and this thing is alerting us this thing's alerting us these are some crazy numbers they really are um, RIGL RIGL this is another uh, uh, trade setup, uh, RBB, again, same setup. And did I, did I skip one? Oh, I didn't. Okay. So RIGL, see, see, here's the downtrend now. Okay. Whoops. Get my little, there we are. You can see how we're trending down in price. You see how that 50 day moving average is trending down like that. And then you see how we just fail, fail and poof, we pop right through kind of a nasty little candle right there. I mean, not one that everyone's going to brag about, that's for sure. But it did get up there. And the next day, as it was an inside day, that could have been a buy right in there. That could have been a buy. Because what we're going to look for is we want to create a buy box like that. And you know your risk reward based on this chart pattern you want that buy box in there so you can calculate your risk reward. So if it goes below the 50 day simple moving average, I'm not saying that's exactly where the stop should be, but you know, depending on the candle and the formation of it, um, if it gets below the 50, you might want to really consider that because look how it failed here. Oops. Well, okay. Failed like that. Who's to say it's not going to do that again and keep that downtrend going. So, you know, make sure your stop is in there. But with a buy right in that area there, we just, in, you know, here we, we blew right through that, what I, I call that the dotted deuce is what that is, and the 200 I call the deuce. So we came up to it, and look how close we came to stopping right there. And then the next day we blew right through it. We actually went right up to the 200 and came down within, I mean, just a little bit of retesting that dotted line right there. The way I trade is I would have taken the money right here, hands down. I mean, you wouldn't have to, you wouldn't have had to have told me twice. 
I would have taken that money. I never, 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 ever try to, you know, hit those home runs where, yeah, man, hey, this thing could go higher. I never do that. Trading is about base hits. That's a different conversation. Okay, I told you I was going to show you a slide that I think is impressive, all right? I think this trade is amazing, or this, this trade, this slide. And I'm showing you this because this is made from some trades. This, this, is, this is a slide that shows uh, the charting of my trading, my personal trading results from a special account that I started trading in January, all right? And I started the account with $5,100. The account at, at the last statement, which the last statement was uh, last month, July, August, I guess, was $18,277 or 258%. Trading the exact same chart patterns we're talking about right now. The exact, no difference. There are, there are, there's members in our trading room in, in here. I, can, I recognize their names. They can vouch for that. It's the same chart patterns. As of today, right now today, the account is up 306% or $20,680. It started with $5,100. So the point here is, for those that are just starting out in trading, I'm showing you that it really does work. For those of you that are struggling, I'm showing you that it really does work. Sometimes you need a little help. Sometimes you need maybe a charting program that points out some of these, these, these plays, some of these chart patterns here. Now, some of you also might be thinking, well, geez, anybody could make up a chart like this. Anybody could put numbers up here. Well, don't do it right now, okay? But I want you to go to our website, and I want you to click on trading results. Click on trading results right here. There it is. And again, we could all make that up. But come over here and click on the January statement. My brokerage is Trade Your Brokerage. There's my statement right there. I put every, the, the cover sheet, whoops, cover sheet of every statement right in there. So there's, there's January's through August, and we're in the current month of September, so there's nothing there. So I want you to know that this is real stuff. This is not games. Uh, this is some serious trading, all right? I asked earlier how many people trade stocks, how many people trade options, or do you trade both? Starting January, I started trading options. I trade directional only, nothing fancy. I am not an option guru. We have somebody... Uh, in the hit run candlestick right way option system that does that. I am not. I trade simple directional call and puts. The key is though I use exactly the same thing I'm showing you right here. Exactly. So I know it can be done. I know it can be done. Okay. So let's look at Grub. Now Grub, this is a weekly chart of Grub because I want you to know that I'm, I predominantly trade from a daily chart. I look at daily charts, um, two-day charts, three-day charts, weekly charts. I'll look at 60-minute charts, sometimes 15-minute chart. But most, I, most of the time I go up, I don't go down. Uh, I never look at a one-minute or five-minute chart. I never mess with that. Uh, we're looking for, you know, swing trading, not day trading. And, I, you know, not knocking day trading, it just... That's just not our thing. So this is a weekly chart, and I'm just showing you that with Metastock, the same system works on whatever time frame you want to look at. And since I always go up, well, I'm looking at a weekly chart. And here's Grub. But if you take a look at Grub, if you would have bought that, what we call a T-line bounce, it's just simply where a stock pops up, comes up on the T-line, and there's some math in there. It bounces off the T-line. Um, generally, what I like to do, is I like to trade the first or second bounce off the T-line. So, for instance, here, it pops up, and for some whatever reason, it just didn't, you know, it didn't come within our parameters right here. You, 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 you can't be perfect every single time. But see how we pop up, and there's the first bounce right there? So that would have been a good area to buy. See, we 
pop up again a little bit, you know, there's another little bounce. That would have been a good one. Now, remember, this is a weekly chart, so there's, <laughs> these are a lot of days in here. We pop up again, and there is the first, you know, push back to the T-line area, and it bounces off. And here we move up. Here's another bounce like that. And then we pop up, and there's another bounce. And you can see, you're getting those alerts. See that green arrows right there? The green arrow, and where it says TLB. Well, that alerts you. That's on your chart. It, it's not like something you, you. Um, uh, I didn't. I didn't write the, this stuff in. I, I didn't write that in. I mean, the red circle is mine, but the green arrow TLB that just shows up. How cool is that? So, anyway, how cool is that? Well, how about a hundred and ninety-three percent cool? Now, come on, I. You know, I, I'm, I'm not saying anyone's going to get 193%. It certainly is possible. Majority of the people are not. What I am saying, though, is with, with this kind of setup and with these kind of alerts, I'm fairly confident that we can make some money in this, on this chart uh, with these swings. Pretty confident in that. Uh, okay. So here's NKTR. This is a pinball setup. This is actually the chart pattern, the pinball setup, and, it, and it's also shown in RBB. See pinball, PB right here. See the green arrows? And then see the RBB right here? The pinball setup is actually the chart pattern that uh, pushed me from working for a living uh, to, to stock trading for a living. And uh, so I guess I still work for a living. It's just a different kind of living. Uh, pretty darn good, actually. Uh, it's fun. I have to travel to work so far nowadays. Traffic kills you. Well, the pinball setup, it, again, not trying to pick the bottom. And again, that's how I was originally taught and failed miserably at it. Uh, the whole idea, and this is where the T-line came around, that little black line. The T-line, I started looking, which actually, if, in, this, in this system, it actually comes with all the, the layout. And, the two exponential moving averages on here, but I pulled it off tonight just so that we could, um, the chart would be a little bit cleaner. The two gets a little busy up there, uh, but after time, you'll find you won't even need it. So um, we start buying when we cross over the T-line area there, and buying in here, now you would have been stopped out here. There's no question about it, and you could have been back into it here, and that's about a 10% move. Now, it moves slightly to the right, which the reality is maybe not quite 10%. You know, that, that's a tight one, but it is a, a pinball setup. So a pinball setup, what it, a pinball setup that follows through leads to a rounded bottom breakout. And that's just what happened here. It led to that rounded bottom breakout. And look how this ran up and pulled back test. Remember, breakout and test. We start getting those alerts, the green arrows, the RBB, and then we pop up again. I mean, if you missed it here, you could have got in right there. Look at that hammer. Look at that hammer. Flag right in here. It's that flag right there. Nice hammer. Beautiful. Look at that T-line run. Up we go. Up, 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 up. 30%. Nailed the dotted deuce and quit right there. That is so cool. Anyway. This is how you make some money. This is how you make some money. <clears throat> Here's Fossil. This is a weekly chart on Fossil. The, again, I want to show you that these can be found on weekly charts. They can be found on 10-minute uh, charts, 30-minute charts, hourly charts, 5-minute charts, 3-month uh, charts, whatever, you, you know, it, whatever your fancy is. Uh, the setup is the same. And it still alerts. Here's that pinball setup. By the way, this would have been a little 30% trade. Keep in mind, this is a weekly chart on Fossil. Okay? So um, pinball so setup starts alerting right here, and from here to here, you get about 30% on that trade. Now, here's where, the, here's where the fun one comes in. See how we break out and see how we pull back? So if you find an entry that makes you happy, everybody's a little different about entries. Some people want to get that you know, super low entry. Some people have no problem paying on breakout a little higher. 
And when you're looking at 160%, believe me, I don't think you have to have that super duper entry. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can see how that thing just rallied right up. And notice how it did not close below the T-line the whole way. Beautiful T-line run. So if you're a little bit of a longer term trader, you know, if you're not into the super fast five minute charts, hourly charts, or even a daily chart in this case, if you're not, you know, if you're a little more, if you're looking for the a position trading maybe, something like that, well, this might be what you're looking for. And look how that thing rallied right up. Look how it blew through the dotted deuce and pulled right back to it. Boom. And for the most part, it's riding it. And now it looks like it's moving up. Like I said, these charts are very fresh off. the. I, I posted the charts today. I, that's what I did. Uh, I spent this afternoon and put these charts in there uh, for show and tell. So I don't make it a habit of looking at charts three years ago, and here's what could have happened. So I try to go as, as early as possible. Mm. Here is YEXT. There's another T-line bounce. I also see uh, some uh, T-line swing lows in there. See the TLS. And basically what that is is a chart that, that price slips and then starts moving back up over that T-line area. And you can see right here, price came down far enough. And what it is, it's the, it's, the, it's the moving average in there that does it. It's not so much the price, or maybe a combination of the both, but it's more the moving average that, that slides down a little bit and then starts sliding back up or running back up. And that's where we get the, the TLS, T-line uh, T -line swing, swing low is what it is. And then TLB is T-line bounce right here. So if you were to place an entry in this area right here, once again, we have that pop, that pullback, first, second pullback after those big breakouts. Pull back, you, get, you start getting these alerts in here. There's a nice little 17% trade there. There we go. Here's TNMD. How many people would like to be in TNMD? I mean, come on. If you've been trading any time at all, you've had to have looked at TNMD over... The past what month <laughs> yesterday uh, two months something like that this chart is crazy 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 250 percent from this point right here 250 hey Scott how are you uh, 250 percent from this point right here so see how this pops up and pulls back so maybe you missed this run there's another one of course that's not going to be 250 percent but I'm pretty sure that's a sweet little, uh, sweet little uh, percentage. And there we get those alerts again. We rally or we run, we, we pull back, and all those runs are money-making runs. We pull back, new entries, we run. We pull back, new entry, we run. Or you just have a mechanism to hold the chart. A T... TN, ah, my apologies, MM, you're right. I, I typed it wrong. Uh, TN, DM, yes, sir, thank you. And look at that T-line run right there. Absolutely beautiful. Here is the weekly chart. And I hear this one I did right, TN, DM. This is the weekly chart. Look at that right there. And by the way, there, there's your, your uh, pinball setup. But look at that RBB setup. Look how that stayed above the T-line. Now, look, no system in the world is going to keep you in this chart. No system in the world is going to get you in here, keep you in it, all the way up to this point. No system in the world. This is where we have got to step up to the plate, a little bit of education. We've got to know how to trade. We have to know how to read a chart. So not everything can be automated. Not, not everything. So please, you know, when you look at charts like this, it is very possible. If you're a position trader, you look, you're looking at this chart, where would you have sold this? There is absolutely zero, zip, nada sell signals in this chart, looking at that weekly chart. Not one is there a sell signal. 
Look how we came right up to the dot of deuce and we went one, two, three candles stop, broke out, look at that low tested, and look where we're headed right here. There's a 200 simple up there on the weekly chart. Here's UIS. This is a T-line bounce. See how we gap up and we have that first pullback to the T-line. Nice little entry. For the most part, it really did nothing. It just went sideways. It just didn't, it didn't get going. Uh, it just sort of meandered around. It held up well. There it alerted again. And from there, boom, there you go. There's your 30% trade. I want to thank everybody. I want to thank everybody so very much for being here. If you have any questions, uh, Jeff is going to come on and talk for a minute or two. And what I'll do is I'm going to shut this down, shut the camera down, and allow Jeff to uh, load the camera up there. There we go, Jeff. It's all yours. And uh, if anyone has any questions, I would absolutely love to help you and answer whatever I can while just getting loaded up. And if you have any questions afterwards, I'll certainly be glad to hang around and answer those as well. So, All right, can you hear me? What do we think of, of automated uh, alerts? How would we like that? Uh, that sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> yeah. That, All right, I should oh, be there we sharing my screen. Can you hear me okay? Am I too bad? Too soft? Perfect. Okay. All right. Well, uh, that was a great presentation, Rick. I was actually very, very impressed with the performance you've had this year. Good job. So uh, I'm hearing that I'm muffled. That might just be my uh, congested voice today. So <clears throat> we'll call it, go ahead and try and clear it out. But uh, I want to thank you, for uh, Rick, for having me on here and um, uh, all the work you've put into this. Um, uh, very, very, uh, um, I remember working with you when we got this put together, and uh, you were very, very thorough and just truly professional, and it, it's been good to work with you. Um, I do want to talk just a little bit um, today, a little bit about how this add-on works for Metastock and exactly what it is. So I'll introduce myself real briefly. My name is Jeff Gibby. I've worked with Metastock for 21 years in a row now. And um, it's been an awesome job to have. I love the company. Um, we have a great culture here. And I've really enjoyed kind of the journey. Uh, when I started 21 years ago, uh, I started in Inside Sales. So if you had questions about Metastock and the software and what it would do, there's a good chance that you talked to me. I did that for almost a decade, nine years, to be precise. And it was a lot of fun. I spent another 12 or so years in business development, um, and uh, that's where I worked with Rick to help put together the Patterns for Profit add-on for Metastock, and uh, just barely, uh, they put me in charge of the sales team here. So now my official title now, and I'm trying to still figure out what my job is, is the Director of Sales. So it's been a great journey, and it's been a really good thing uh, working for Metastock for me. Um, to give you, for those of you that are not familiar with Metastock, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about it, um, just to kind of give you an overview of what it is. Uh, Metastock is a software program. It's designed to help you find trades, identify which stocks you should be trading, get alerts on stocks you're looking at, test trading ideas, and it even has a pretty sweet little forecaster. Um, the Metastock software has been rated number one by the readers of Stocks and Commodities, uh, for 24 years in a row. And we have some pretty cool tools. Uh, the, I like to kind of describe Metastock as a huge toolbox. Uh, it's something that we've been working on for 35 plus years now. Uh, but at the core of it, those things are, again, to give you the alerts, to help you scan and identify what, what are the best stocks to be trading right now. Um, if you're into system testing, you can test trading ideas to see which ones are the best, and uh, forecasting as well. So. When we were uh, kind of creating this, uh, we worked with Rick to get, you know, his four main patterns into the chart. And he covered them all really well. They're basically the rounded bottom breakout, the T-line squeeze, 
the T-line bounce, and the pinball setup. So those are the major patterns that we developed. And I kind of want to show you how those are integrated uh, and how that works inside of Metastock. So let me go ahead. I, I, I thought this was very interesting. This is the first thing I actually wanted to show you. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with me, I, uh, for those of you that are already not familiar with me, I like to look at the Dow quite a bit. I like to trade a lot of options on the Dow. Um, and um, so I always kind of take a look at the Dow here. Uh, and I want to point out a couple of things about kind of this chart layout or this chart template that we've got set up for um, Rick Sadler and kind of how it works. So. Uh, automatically when you apply you're going to get the stochastics that Ricky likes to use right here on the chart. You're going to get the moving average set up the way that Rick likes to look at them on the chart. And any any patterns that actually show up, you'll notice down here at the bottom we, we tell you you're either in an uptrend, you're neutral, or you're in an uptrend. Okay. Uh, any patterns that actually show up on the chart are going to be uh, labeled and identified for you. So automatically, again, this is just put on the chart. Uh, this is the T-line squeeze pattern. Now, with the, with the Dow and with us looking at a major index like the Dow, you're not going to get a lot of, um, let's say, uh, pinball setups just because it doesn't drop like that. Uh, uh, and if it does, you're probably in trouble. But I want to show you exactly where this T-line squeeze has happened. This happened uh, right here, uh, not yesterday, but the, the, the day before on 9-11. We had a T-line squeeze pattern. So I found that really, really interesting. If you look back uh, at where it's happened before, it, it happened before on the Dow back on 11.16, and it was followed by a fairly major run up. If I scroll back a little bit, you had a, about three T-line squeezes that happened on the Dow uh, before, and then you had a pretty moderate rise up, followed by a pullback, followed by a fairly major run up again. If we go back in time uh, even a little bit more, You'll notice right here at the chart, you had uh, three clustered right here, it kind of wavered a little bit, you had a T-line squeeze, and then it kind of ran up a little bit. So the T-line squeeze works actually very, very well on the Dow Industrials. And uh, we don't have any pinball setups here or any of the other three patterns um, that are kind of included with this, but anything that actually happens on whatever instrument you're going to look at is going to automatically appear on the chart. Now, if you're a bit new and you want to get a little bit of an idea of what this pattern means, we actually have in the program built in the ability to go in and kind of get what we call an expert commentary on a chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on view right here. I'm going to go to the expert commentary. And you'll notice when I do that, because I'm going to point it out, I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this chart right here. You'll notice that uh, as soon as I open up that commentary window, it's going to pop open a little triangle on the chart that just tells you it's looking at the current day. Um, in this case, the T-line squeeze, the, the, the pattern that I want to go in and read, happened a couple of days ago. So I'm just going to move that arrow over so that I can see and so that I can show you exactly what would have appeared in this commentary the, way, the day the T-line squeeze happened. Okay? So right here it says the T-line squeeze has, is detected on DIA for the current bar. Uh, Rick, Sadler, the <laughs> Rick Sadler, the founder of Hit and Run Candlestick, has found that the probability of price moving up and down and returning to the T-line is extremely high. When this, what the scan looks for here is a price closing below the T-line, or the price below the T-line, so it's telling you what you're looking for. The T-line and how to trade it was created, by, and then it kind of gives you some, just some advice in terms of how to take it. So it's kind of giving you an, an idea of exactly what to do with the chart. Okay? Now, one of the other things that I want to show you uh, with the Metastock program is how scanning works. So each of the four major patterns has this built-in expert advisor. You can go in, you can read about it, and you can read a little bit more about the pattern. Uh, but in the case of me personally, what I like to be able to do is I like to be able to kind of identify stocks that currently have a, a pattern that I'm looking for. So, and we do that through a process that we call scanning. The tool that we use to do that is, uh, we call it the Explore. So I'm going to go ahead and open up what we call our Power Console right here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, the Explore. It's just this binocular right here. And you'll notice what, uh, when we look at this list, there's a lot of different scans that you can run. You can run just about anything that you want. Uh, Rick had mentioned that he likes to look at stocks with a certain price or a certain amount of volume. 
you could actually easily create that in Metastock. But what I'm going to do just to show you how this scanning works is I'm going to go ahead and select his hit and run candles, patterns for profit. And then I'm going to run it against all of the optionable lists today. Okay? So I'll go ahead and start that as an exploration, show you exactly how it works. So, and if you have questions, go ahead and ask it. So right here, it's going to go ahead and run through the scan for us. You'll notice it's going to go through about 4,200. Well, actually, it's going to go through precisely 4,269 stocks right now. Okay? You'll notice it's about 1,400 done. And out of the ones that it's going through, it's, it's rejecting about 92% of them, about 93% of them, actually. So what this is doing for me is it's allowing me to uh, focus on, uh, ignore all the stocks that don't currently have an opportunity uh, for me to trade. And it allows me to go ahead and zero in on the stocks that actually do have an opportunity for me to trade. Uh, I did a class to kind of show how scanning worked, and somebody kind of equated it to looking at uh, the garbage man. It takes out everything that you don't want to look at and just allows you to do what you want to do, and that's to focus on the opportunity that exists in the marketplace. Okay? So the scan is done. You notice it just took a, uh, uh, maybe, maybe 30 or 40 seconds to run. And out of those uh, 4,200 stocks, you'll notice it rejected all but about 286 of them. Okay? Uh, up here, you've got different column names. This uh, PB stands for pinball, rounded bottom breakout, T-line bounce, and T-line squeeze. So if we're looking for a specific pattern, maybe we want to define the one that Rick told us that was the one that started him in the trading, started him in his new occupation of trading. Uh, well, what we can do is we can just scan on this, or sort on this column, and it'll bring all of those pinball setups to the top for us. Okay? And so we can see out of those pinball uh, setups today, we can see that um, uh, there's only about maybe a dozen or so of them. And we could actually even open these up, take a look at them. It's going to allow us to kind of get a few, few full view. So if I just wanted to take the pinballs, I can highlight these on my list. I can save those out as a list. Uh, or I could just open the chart. If I just wanted to open up the dozen or so charts that have this pattern today, we could do that, and then we could just close down the ones that we're not interested in, actually kind of take a look at the ones that we do like. So it's a very, very kind of robust engine to go in. And again, what we want to be able to do is help you identify, ooh, this one, this one, the gold looks pretty good. Uh, Rick might disagree with me. It's not a recommendation, but GLP, this uh, GF, Goldfields, actually does look like a pretty good pinball. Um, and then again, now that that pinball is actually detected, it's going to tell us the pinball setup is a relief rally trade in a downtrend designed for 10% plus profit. This scan looks for charts that have crossed where the price is in a downtrend under, under the T-line and then reverse. So it's kind of giving you a little bit of advice in terms of how to kind of go ahead and get into this trade if that's what you want to do. So, in a nutshell, that's it. That's what I kind of wanted to show you. Um, it, what we've done is we're taking Rick's very, very good ideas, and we've put it in such a way that you can easily identify exactly what's going on. And we've also done that in a, at a fairly affordable price. Let me talk a little bit about that. So again, the patterns that we identify are the round and bottom breakout, the T-line squeeze, the T-line bounce, and the, pop, the pinball setup. Okay. And here's just some examples. We ran a scan to kind of show you the examples. But um, the patterns for profit with Rick Sadler, normally the cost on it is only like $399. And a lot of people see that price and they'll be like, is that a month? Is that a year? That's actually a one-time cost. It's actually very, very, very affordably priced. The thing is, is instead of $399, because you came to the webinar today, what we will do is actually drop the price on that down $100. So we're basically giving it away at $299. Um, if you need access to Metastock, we will include access to Metastock. Um, if you're a brand new customer to Metastock, we actually have started a new program where we will call you and help you get it set up and installed. So you also get some instant on-demand access to a boot camp session that I put together. Uh, I believe, if I remember right, it was about 20, 30 minutes long. And what we do is actually, they, actually, no, I, uh, I'm remembering now, actually about an hour long. The first part is Rick actually going through 
and showing kind of some of the specifics of the trade. And then the other 30 minutes or the other part of it is actually me talking about exactly what you want to do to set up your scans, how to make sure that the chart gets set up properly, and just going through kind of the basics for you. So, uh, and in addition to that, it's only 300 bucks. We're also going to back it with our money back guarantee. So if you try it out, you think it, and it's helpful for you, great. Um, and that's generally why we back it with a money back guarantee. You know, for, for $299, you're really not paying a lot to get this thing. You'll probably make that up in a trade <laughs> or less. So uh, if it's not something that adds value to you, though, what we want to do, because we know you're traders and we know you, you like the low risk um, propositions, there's no risk to you other than your time. So for $299, you can try Metastock, the award-winning software program. You can try Rick's uh, Patterns for Profit. Uh, and if it's something that doesn't work out for you, or if you don't think it's going to help you improve your trading, you can just get a, a full refund for $299. So um, I, I can't think of a better risk or reward scenario. In, other, uh, in order to place your order, give us a call. The phone number here, and we do have we do have uh, people waiting uh, for calls, so give us a call at 800-882-3040. You can also chat online at metastuck.com slash sales chat, and they'll be actually uh, able to help you. Arnaldo asks, after the 30 days, that's a great question, Arnaldo. After the 30 days, what is the fee for accessing Metastock? It depends on what version of Metastock that you get. Uh, so for example, uh, we have a DC version. DC stands for daily charts. Okay, um, the daily chart version of Metastock uh, gives you basically daily access to the market, and it updates on it uh, every day when the market closes. And that is only fifty-nine dollars a month with Thomson Reuters data to back it up. Okay, one of the things that you can talk to our reps about is, uh, and I would recommend that you do this, is if you pay that fifty-nine dollar fee up front with this purchase. They'll actually give you an extended trial. They'll basically cut that rate down. Uh, they'll, you pay for the first month, and they'll give you three months for free. Or, I'm sorry, two months for free for a total of three months. So basically what that means is you pay $20 a month for Metastock end of day, and you get access to it basically until December 13th. It's a, it's a really, really good way to do it and a really good way to get a, what we call an extended trial for Metastock. The real-time version of Metastock is a, 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 a bit more expensive. It actually comes with um, a Thomson Reuters news and data feed that they spent over a billion dollars developing. If you're interested in like real-time news and really good real-time data, uh, you want to look at it. Uh, Thomson Reuters calls it ICON. Uh, we actually call it Metastock Zenith. And uh, just to give you some numbers, I already gave you the billion dollar number, but they have basically about 3,000 different reporters that are full-time reporters that operate in 300 different news bureaus around the world. They basically created this, uh, the news program that comes with Metastock Real-Time, uh, as an institutional program to compete uh, with Bloomberg, and they did a really good job with it. In, uh, and that just comes as part of the access to Real-Time. Uh, anyway, Metastock Real-Time starts at $199 for uh, uh, FX feed, and it goes up to $250 for a full-blown real-time version. So that's the cost after the 30 days. Uh, you can try either one. So if you, if you like what Icon sounds like, go ahead and try Real-Time. Uh, you, you'll be able to use kind of the full news package, the same thing that basically institutions and banks are using. And then you can always decide to go with the DC version afterwards. So, but that will give you a good idea of the cost. If you have more specific questions, you can, uh, you can just chat online with uh, Dave right now, metastock.com slash sell chat. He'll be able to talk to you about what markets you want to follow and whether you want to end a day in real time and really give you a good idea of exactly what it's going to cost in your particular situation. If you're ready to just go ahead and do the trial, you can visit metastock.com slash hit and run A. Okay. Arnaldo, I hope that answered your question. All right. But that's what I had. <laughs> so um, in any case, uh, Rick, great job today. Uh, for those of you that are kind of new to Metastock, I'd recommend you try it out on this particular offer. 
there is a reason it's been rated number one uh, for 24 years in a row. It's a uh, pretty ridiculous uh, track record there. So, Rick, any final thoughts? I think it's terrific. You know, any any time that you can, <laughs> any any time you can uh, scan and you t can take the crazy out of finding your charts, I think that's two thumbs up right there. Let's see. Uh, it has asked a question. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. That I'll answer. Uh, so intraday with multi charts, like two and five minutes with indicators, yes. You can absolutely apply this methodology to any time frame that you want, whether that's a two minute or a five minute. Now I would recommend, uh, like with anything new that you're going to add to your trading, that you play with it. Uh, that you do some paper trades and if you like what you get from that, you kind of go in with a, a partial account size nor, uh, than normal. Uh, the nice thing about trading is, is you, can, you can actually kind of go in and paper trade and then you can take low risk trades until you're feeling fully comfortable. But um, you can absolutely uh, com use it with anything. Uh, in terms of comparing the program with AbleSys, um, it's been a while since I've looked at AbleSys. We don't get a lot of questions on AbleSys. Um, but when I've done comparisons with other programs, um, there are other competitors that are good at that. Um, the things that I really like about Metastock is the customizability. So we showed you the scanning, for example. It's very, very easy to go in and build any type of a scan you can think of in Metastock. Uh, and, you, and unlike, uh, you know, a lot of the competitors that you're out there, you're not coding in some like C++ engine. You're coding in just basically a simplified math format. Um, I also, one of the things that I like about Metastock is the system tester, which we didn't really cover today. But like, for example, with our system tester, you have the ability to go in and test trading ideas against as many uh, different instruments that you want. And you can also create your own system test, for example. But it really does give you the ability to go in and see how well a methodology works over a bunch of different system, uh, 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 instruments instead of like one at a time. Um, you know, uh, if you've been using AbleSys for a while, and you like it, that's great. I would recommend you try Metastock because I think there's going to be a lot there that you're missing. Okay. HS says, how much is the system with intraday data? It starts at $199 per month. And the other thing that's, uh, uh, the other thing that I'd kind of mention about that HS is after your 30-day free trial, if you really like the real time, you can actually bring that cost down to starting at $99 a month if you just buy Metastock as a one-time cost. So then you're just paying for your Reuters fee. So what I would probably recommend that you do is try it on the trial. Uh, and then you, then you can also, uh, if it's something that works for you, you can look at the best way to go forward from that point. Uh, HS asks one more question. HS, thank you for all of your questions. Uh, I appreciate your interest. Uh, can you do a search, uh, can you do search the background, such as a two and a five minute combo by or sell intraday on a watch list of 20 stocks. What you can do in that type of a scenario, HS, is if you have the uh, 20 stocks that you want to be watching open, anytime that triggers an alert on any of those 20 stocks, it will real time fire off an alert. So uh, that's what we call our expert advisor, and that's the alert capability of it. Uh, HS, uh, the 30-day intraday evaluation is included for free at that $2.99 price. So, and to do it, um, you can give David a call. He's, he's waiting for you to call him at 800-882-3040. So um, he's online right now. You can talk to him. He can also talk to you a little bit about how much it will cost after that intraday evaluation as well and get into, into some real details about what exactly it'll be. Um, Mark, yes. So we ran the scan, um, and basically it's going to run that scan on all, of, all four of these patterns. So good question. Uh, when you run a scan, we did all of the optionable stocks, for example. It looked for rounded bottom breakout, T-line squeeze, T-line bounce, and pin box setup. All four of those are all put into one scan, so you run them all at the same time, and it comes back with the list of the stocks that currently have an opportunity and allows you to ignore the ones that don't have an opportunity. Okay. All right.
Nick, is the final thoughts? <laughs> I'm still here. I'm still here. Hey, one, one, yeah, all right. One thing I was going to do, too, is um, talk with Jeff about, uh, a lot of you may have heard the T-Line Trap. I've talked about that a lot lately. There's even a YouTube video uh, on, my, on my YouTube channel uh, on the T-Line Trap, and I was going to ask Jeff if we could have that set up. Uh, at some point, so just well, I'll reach out to you tomorrow. Yeah. Um, HS, you can answer. You can call anybody, or you can talk to anybody who answers. I'm absolutely sure David Derricott um, is online now to take your phone call. So if you call right now, you'll probably get David. I'm not sure if anybody. You might get somebody else. There might be more than one uh, one person logged in. I just know that David's logged in to take calls. Uh, Steve uh, or Rick, <laughs> I want to say thanks for having me. Uh, thanks for all the work you put into um, actually helping us get this program put together. Uh, it's uh, been working really, really well, and a lot of that has to be due to like the diligence you put into the the software in the first place. Um, and I want to thank um, I want to thank um, everybody for coming today. So the number to call right now, HS, is that. 800-882-3040. Um, you're welcome to give me a call. I'd be happy to talk to you about just about anything. It is, uh, this is, let's see, um, this is my office phone number. As soon as we get done here, I'm going to go ho do homework <laughs> with, with the girls. Uh, but if you leave a message, I, I will absolutely return your phone call. You're more than welcome to give me a call. All right. And with that, Hey, Jeff, uh, thanks, thank everybody. you very much. Uh, I will see you there. Yeah, thanks, Jeff, for being here. Hey, and I want to thank everyone else for being here. I appreciate it. It's always nice to have people come to our webinars. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. I did say that I would hang around if anyone has any questions about charts or anything, uh, or any questions about the presentation. I'll certainly hang around for a few minutes.